Jimmy, who I'm just meeting. Jimmy, what is your last name? Uh, Jimmy Kelly. With the, tro with the Trojan Entertainment Network. Okay, and he's with Trojan Entertainment Network. And can you tell me a little bit, from your perspective, why we're here, what this event is about? Yes, uh, so I founded a group a few years ago called the Trojan Entertainment Network. We were an independent uh, organization for USC alumni in the entertainment industry. We wanted to make sure that uh, people like ourselves were getting the chance to meet the best and the brightest in our industry as we were about to go out into the world in the entertainment industry. You live and die on your relationships in, in this business. So we started having uh, mixers, networking, social events, and uh, that's how 10 was born. We've been doing, for the past three or so years now, events with other schools. Today is our first event with UCLA alumni, uh, as well as our first event with Florida State alumni, Yale alumni, and we are working, we're co-hosting this event, Cinema Soiree, with uh, Emerson's uh, Gold Group, their alumni group, okay. and uh, Syracuse is joining us again as well. So we're, we're very excited to have all these great people here. All those, all those schools I just listed, except for Yale, are in the top 12 or okay. so film schools by Hollywood Reporter's annual rankings. Right. And, uh, you know, we just want to make sure that we're expa casting as wide a net as possible. Okay, wow. Okay, very. And is this the first time that this event, this particular event, has been done? Uh, yeah, we uh, normally have an event every spring called Hollywood Now that's very much like this where we get about five or six schools together. Okay. Every once in a while we'll do another event in the fall okay. similar to this, but uh, this is the first uh, time we've worked with this particular mix of schools. Okay. And specifically for you, um, you're mostly a producer, director? Uh, I'm a screenwriter primarily. I do, I do produce a little. Okay. Uh, but uh, yeah, I just I was looking for ways to expand my network, and okay. frankly, I owe all my career success to Ted. I, we founded this, my two co-founders and I, Alex and Sarah, and Ian Christian Blanche. Uh, we were just fresh out of school. We got our MFAs and MBAs, respectively. And uh, I, again, I owe all my success. I got my agent through Ted. I got my first feature through Ted. I've. Uh, it, it's really been a, a blessing to be a part of this. And uh, we, we organize all of this voluntarily. Uh, this year we became officially uh, uh, chartered by the USC Alumni Association, so we are now an official extension of USC. And okay. it's gotten us a lot more great resources and uh, onwards and upwards. Okay, cool. Any projects you're working on right now that you want to share, or is it kind of, you're kind of... Uh, I did just have my first film that I co-wrote. It's uh, called Somewhere Beautiful. It had its world premiere uh, a couple weeks ago at the Sao Paulo Film Festival down in Brazil. Okay. Uh, a couple other projects in development that are bigger that I can't really talk about right now. Okay. But uh, okay. yeah, fingers crossed, and uh, you know we're moving forward. Okay. So Somewhere Beautiful. Yes. Oh well, thank you for taking the time. No problem. And nice to meet you. Anything else that you want to share? Okay. Nope. Advice to young filmmakers out there? Yeah, network. Uh, yeah. Because you, you never know the people around you who's going to succeed, and uh, you never know when you're going to need a friend. It could be professionally, it could be personally. Again, your relationships are, are so crucial to success out here. Thank you. Okay, so I'm meeting you for the first time, but tell me, tell me your name. My name is S.J. Hodges. I'm the Assistant Director for Alumni Affairs for UCLA TFT. And we're here tonight and we're joining with USC Trojan Entertainment Network 
in order to co-sponsor this party. It's the first time that UCLA and USC have had a party together, ever. It's the first time that TFT has ever had an alumni. Because they're kind of rivals sometimes. Am I right about that? USC and UCLA sometimes. A little bit of rivals. True or false? More than sometimes. So the football rivalry is really, really deep. Uh, but once everybody graduates and ends up in the entertainment business, they end up working together. And so we've always wanted to bring these communities together. And tonight is the first time that we're doing that. So it's a very, very exciting process. All the alumni are very excited to be here tonight. And we're excited to be part of this. Very beautiful. Now, were you one of the people that kind of manifested this idea? Well, actually, Jimmy Kelly from USC, who runs the Trojan Entertainment Network, called me out of the blue and said, we do this holiday party every year, and we have always wanted to invite UCLA, but we didn't know who to call. So now we have an alumni affairs office. This is the first time in the history of the school that the affairs alumni affairs office has existed. And so they had a place to call, and they gave us a call, and it was really easy. We just shot an email out to our alumni, and they're all here. I'm sure you've met a bunch of them tonight. So, yeah. yeah a lot of UCLA people out here tonight. And it's, I mean, the bottom line is people need to network when that, once they get out. So it behooves both of you. Absolutely. The alumni need to know each other no matter what school they came out of because they're working on television shows together, they're working on films together, they're working on plays together, and they need to know each other. So this is a really easy way for everybody to just get together and celebrate and say hello and mix and mingle. It's a mixer. <laughs> it's a mixer, people. It's a mixer. So mix, right? People are mixing, though. They are. We have about 300 people here tonight, so it's pretty impressive that, I mean, I think we sent the invite out a couple of weeks ago, and we have 300 people, so I'm very happy. It's happening. It is, it is happening. <laughs> and it's only going to get bigger. It's only going to get bigger. We're going to. I do, think so. Yeah, we're doing, we're going to have a holiday party in December, and then we're starting a whole round of programming for the 2015 year, and we'll be able to announce that soon, so, yeah. Well, you're such a light and breath of fresh air. Oh, well, thank you. Ask her where she's from. Where are you from? Tell us a little bit about yourself. Oh, I came from West Virginia originally, and then I went to NYU. I got an MFA in dramatic writing from Tisch, NYU. So I'm also a writer and an artist. So this is part of my agenda, too, is I always love to meet other artists and help other artists uh, further their careers and further their connections with each other. And I came out to LA about 10 years ago. And I came out, and NYU didn't really have a big alumni affairs program out here, so a group of us started it. Um, we started meeting, and we called ourselves the NYU Mafia. And uh, officially, we were called Tish West. And we started doing events, and that was 10 years ago. And now Tish West is pretty strong out here and does a lot of programming. And because of that, uh, I became friends with a guy named Fred Bush, who was my sort of handler at NYU. Um, I think they probably hired him to rein me in because I was <laughs> kind of doing a bunch of stuff. Um, but he and I worked on alumni affairs for NYU for about three years. And then he fell in love with LA because he kept coming out here. So when the job opened up, yeah, it's pretty great out here. So when the job opened up at UCLA, he applied for it. He got it six months ago. And now he's running the development department for TFT. And he asked me to come over and do alumni fairs, and that's how I ended up here. So it's been, uh, Fred and I are a really, really good team, and it's it's been a great opportunity for both of us to work together again. So you said you're a writer also. Are you, is that something that you're current? is that on hold right now? Are you currently pursuing it, or are you? Oh, I'm always pursuing it. I have a television show in development right now, and I have a couple of books that are out, and. I've been a ghostwriter for 10 years, so yes, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a writer as well. <laughs> and is there anything that you're able to t share with us what you're doing right now? I'm still working on my, I won the Humanitas Award uh, last year for New Voices, and I'm working on the television show I have in development for the Humanitas right now. So, And uh, hopefully I'll have my last round of notes <laughs> and I can get that turned in real soon. <laughs> Wonderful. Congratulations. Thank you. What do you think is the, the biggest challenge for young artists today? 
or for yourself or for anybody. I mean, like, I'm an artist myself, so I know sometimes there's just, it's hard. It's hard to put yourself out there, even at an event like this. What do you, what do you think about that? I think the market is changing, and um, I think that everybody right now is sort of trying to figure out how to make a living in a changing market. And so I think that's part of our role as artists is to help each other get through this transition because the business is transitioning and they don't even know how it's going to shake out. So I think creatives are trying to figure out, well, how do I fit into this new world? Um, and I think most of them are finding that they need to become producers and they need to become cross-platform content creators. And that's not how most of us were trained. We were trained to write a screenplay or we were trained to write a play. Um, and we're not necessarily sure how to move in this new world. So I think that's part of the conversations that need to happen. It is, and I think, I think also just the communal aspect of connecting and not being in competition, but how can we, how can I help you, my sister? How can I help you, my brother? You know, how can we work together as artists? And Yeah, I and mean, I think that at this point now, people are going to have to be more uh, entrepreneurial. And so in order to live and work in this new market, you have to be an entrepreneur. To be an entrepreneur, you need your team. And to find your team, you've got to come to Mixers. <laughs> That's why we're here. That's, That's why, why we're here. We're mixing, we're mixing it up, aren't we, SJ? Yes, we are. So anyway. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh -oh. <laughs> All right, so I'm here with Alex. Yes, right? hello, what I'm Alex. Your, what is your last name? Lazarus Alex from Lazarus. USC. Okay, very good, and? Liz Vakovic. Okay, both very interesting. We've been totally mixing it up here. Yes. Yes. <laughs> V-A-C-O-V-E-C. Okay, very good. So um, tell me a little bit about yourself. I uh, am an Emerson graduate student. I did uh, the LA program and ended up here 2010, 2011-ish. Um, stayed out here and I'm just really involved with the school. I think it's a great school. And I'm a producer. And that's that's my story. And you're, uh, I, I shook your hand earlier. Very strong, firm handshake. Very, very strong handshake. I like that yeah, about you. And you're a female producer. That's right, right? Yeah. So tell me about being a female producer. What, it's what's actually very difficult. Okay. But, I mean, are we going to get into that right now? Yes. <laughs> you want emotion. Uh, it's it's a little difficult. I, I mean, I, I'm sorry. I'm not going to get into it right now on camera. <laughs> but it's a little difficult. Uh, you know, it's, it's empowering. I'm a big advocate of women in film which is a great organization to get involved with. Um, but yeah, it's in a male dominated industry, it's difficult to be a woman who is trying to pursue dreams and be an advocate of storytelling. So what are, is there any projects that you're working on right now that you're excited about or? I have so many projects in development, it's ridiculous. Um, I mean, every project, I have like five projects in development. I just need to find funding for all of them, which we all need to find funding for. But um, no, I just had a film in the Austin Film Festival and it was great. It was a short film. We're trying to make it into a feature. Um, I've got another short film that's in the festival circuit. Uh, I got a pilot that I'm waiting to try and sell. Another short film in pre-production and two features in pre-production and another short film in pre-production. So how's it going here tonight? Are you having fun? I'm having a great time. I've met, uh, actually there's a guy from USC that I met and uh, he wants to read my script and you know, it's been, it's been a great networking event. And I, my whole goal was to get all of the schools involved and you know, bridge the gap between the alumni associations and just everyone have fun together. It's kind of beautiful, isn't it? It's great. I mean, I've met so many cool people. It's amazing. Yeah. It's really, it's really, it's nice. Thank you.
So I'm going to turn now here to Alex. Um, do you have any questions you want to ask Alex? I do. <laughs> I do not. But I feel like I was put on the spot yeah. for that. I can't even uh, no, 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 no. So tell us a little bit about yourself. Oh, uh, I'm a double Trojan, went to USC undergrad and grad school, um, and uh, I'm also one of the organizers of this event tonight. Uh, on the USC side, Liz came to us, uh, wanted to do an event with USC, and uh, we love doing events with Emerson, and we just want to bring a lot of the top schools in the, the country together uh, for one night and get the alumni to kind of meet each other. So I think it's been going really well. I think we accomplished what, you know, what we wanted, yeah. I saw a lot of people exchanging phone numbers. I don't know if it was for business or what. Or, or it doesn't matter. Where are these phone numbers? <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? We'll see. Yeah, well, it's still a success. So we're bringing people together in what capacity, whether it's business or not yeah. business. It just doesn't matter, you know? Exactly. Yeah. It's a beautiful thing. Yes. It's a beautiful thing. So are you, a, are you a screenwriter or producer? I actually work in, on the digital side of the business. I work at CBS on the mobile uh, distribution side. So I manage all the apps for the network on iPad, iPhone, uh, Android, Kindle. If you want to watch any episodes of a CBS show, I provide the platform to do that. Um, we just about a month ago launched a direct-to-consumer business, which is the first of its kind for $5.99 a month. You can subscribe to CBS and get access to a live feed on your mobile device. I feel like a commercial now. Also, uh, ba back catalog uh, content of current CBS shows and past CBS hits. So. Alex, that's a commercial, but yeah, fabulous. Yeah, sorry. That was, no, that was, uh, no, that was wonderful. Not really true. So, um, what do you think are the is one of the, the most difficult things for young artists starting out? What would you say to your 19-year-old self coming up? Trying to make it in LA. I mean, as uh, as kind of like Liz was alluding to, it's definitely like still finding the money is difficult. I mean, yes, now we have better distribution platforms. With you know, when I started USC in 2000, the internet wasn't as much of a platform as it is today. There was no YouTube. There was no you know distribution online. Now there is that. So the playing field is level in terms of distribution, but still getting the money together to make a movie is very <laughs> difficult, or a TV show, or short film. So that's still a big challenge. It's just finding people that have money. You need, you need to find people with money. We're looking for, we're here to get, we're looking yeah. for people with money, okay? I also think that like... We all share a common goal. No. Events like this are for sure, uh, you know, I, I'll admit this on film. When I first moved here, I, I joined all the alumni associations I could, including USC. I didn't go to USC. Um, they were gracious enough to have me, and I think it's just meeting, meeting these people and networking and letting people know who you are. I mean, I get most of my jobs through people who have met me. So, you know, it's it's events like these that I think really are pivotal to people's careers. It's just having that face time. And it's hard. I think it's, we were talking earlier, I think it's hard to put yourself out there yeah. sometimes, but important. I mean, it's just like overcoming the fear. Yeah. That's why you have drinks first. That's right. <laughs> Right. That's what we do at a bar. That's why they call it a mixer. Mix it up. Have it there. <laughs> Thank you. Thank Thanks, you guys. Thank you. Hi, I'm Jennifer Bamgen. Karen Grill. Hi, I'm Jen Lasky. Malin. My okay. name's Sabrina. It's Old English. Malin. I graduated last year from UCLA. I'm an Emerson alumnus. I graduated from USC in 1980. Two beautiful, dare I say, beautiful Emerson goddesses oh that are here with us. I'm a stand-up comedian. I'm a writer. I'm an actor. I work in TV development. I won the Humanitas Award uh, last year for New Voices. For Final Draft, I submitted a Good Wife spec and I'm a finalist. I got my agent through Ted. I got my first feature through Ted. Well, I just finished being in a movie, a horror film called Clos Lingerie. I'm associate producer on a film called Gratuitous Violence. I also do a one woman show called Tied Up in Knots, which is about growing up with Don Knotts, a legendary comedian who was my dad.